Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Dolly Parton's pediatrician was given a sack of cornmeal, and a song country musician Dolly Parton has campaigned for many charities and hospitals that provide much needed medical care in the Smoky Mountains. One such organization is the Dr. Robert F. Thomas Foundation. The Dr. Robert F. Thomas Foundation raises funds raising money for medical care for impoverished families in Dolly's hometown of Sevier County, Tennessee. The foundation also commemorates the doctor who gave birth to Dolly Parton. Dr. Thomas inspired Parton to continue his legacy by supporting health programs in rural Tennessee. In Dolly Parton's book Sungular tells the story of her birth, and the doctor who helped save her life Dr. V. Lee Parton was struggling with labor on a cold January day in 1946. She lived with her family in a small cabin in East Tennessee, a place where doctors were in short supply. Her husband Robert Lee Parton Sr. took a horse and sought help. He found Dr. Robert F. Thomas, a Methodist missionary who ran a nearby church and clinic. The doctor helped Dolly Parton deliver during a snowstorm. The Parton family had no money to pay Thomas, so they gave him a sack of homemade cornmeal in exchange for his medical help. Thomas was used to emergency care. Many impoverished families living in Sevier County depended on neighbors and family members to help them give birth. Thomas stepped in to help with more complicated births. Traveling the rugged terrain on foot, in a jeep, or on horseback, the doc made up to 1,000 home visits each year, according to the LeConte Medical Center's Office of Philanthropy. On many of these home visits, Thomas balanced life and death in his battered Dr. S. bag. The texts are as follows. Dr. Robert F. Thomas, may his name stand forever. Er. Robert F. Thomas and he enriched the lives of everyone who ever knew him. And in my song I hope to sing some of the praise he deserves. Dr. to live among us mountain folk in East Tennessee. And he gave birth to more than half the babies in those mountains. Among these babies, 